Being a female run small business that is also a bookstore that also lets me get access to UK book covers is pretty much a win all around for me. Hey there, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Kat and this is Katie Reads Books. Today, I'm super excited to do an unboxing of my full moon box that I get from Waypoint Books. I've been receiving these book boxes for a while now and I've been meaning to do an unboxing and I, I recorded one unboxing, but it sort of sucked. And so I decided that I wasn't gonna do anything with it. Um, so this month I've been determined to actually record it and and do a good job with it so that I can post this up and, and scream a little bit more about how much I really love this bookstore. So today I'm going to be unboxing for you my full moon box. Look, I even remembered to like redact the address and shit. I'm doing it. Um, and then also I've got some bonus book mail. Pretty sure I know what's in here, but I never uh, missed a chance to show off these pretty little purple shiny packages. So we're going to do that for a bonus at the end. Okay, so we are in a situation where I'm going to be in my own light. That's just how it's going to be today. Um, I'll see if I can troubleshoot that for next time. And yes, I'm opening it with a key because I have keys in my office, but not scissors. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I've been crocheting recently, and so my scissors are in my bedroom where I crochet and watch TV before I go to bed. So these boxes, at least the full moon box, I should say the full moon box specifically because she does have multiple options for your preferred book mail style. Come on. There we go. And, um, the full moon box is where I, she sends me a list of recommendations. I choose one of those books that she thinks that I would like based on a survey that I filled out whenever I first joined. And then she sends me um, a surprise book that she thinks I will like. And typically she puts my choice book Come on, I'm going to do a grand opening here because these boxes are cool because I'm consistently amused by the small things in life. Hold on. Urgh. Go! Okay. So, typically, the book that I chose is what she puts at the top. And let's see if I might. Oh, she's got it all in... One thing this time. Oh, wait, but so she's got... Okay, okay. She's trying to cover that one. She's trying to cover that one. That's the surprise book. This is the book that I chose. It's Wings of Fury by Emily R. King. I chose this because the book that she sent me last month, or maybe it was the month before that, that she thought that I would like was Circe, and I absolutely loved it. And this is another one based in mythology, um, it, some of it takes place in Crete. The main character decides that she wants to destroy the gods. She finds someone else who also wants to destroy the gods. I'm suspecting maybe some sort of a love interest and or betrayal, but yes, I am, I'm looking forward to this one now. Let's see which one Hannah thinks I will like. So she sends notes to, and something cool that she does is she has these cards that um, if you were based in the UK, I guess you could maybe use this like a postcard, send it back with your thoughts on it and your rating so that you can help her, um, you know, better refine the choices that she's making for you. Uh, let's see. Hope you're not all romanced out. I've been promised this book is perfect for fans of Get a Life, Chloe Brown. So I hope you enjoy. And if you want to buddy read Wings of Fury, yes, I do. I do, Hannah. I do want to buddy read it. Ah, oh, look at this sticker. Okay. So then this is the surprise book. I am a huge fan of Chloe Brown. And Hannah knows this about me. If you've been, 
focus camera. If you've been on my channel, there we go. Isn't that cool? That's cool. If you've been on this channel before, you know I'm a huge fan of um, Talia Hibbert. Shamelessly a fan of Talia Hibbert. So, if this is good for Chloe Brown fans, I am on board. Ooh, the bride test. This looks fun. So, I am assuming some Asian influence and a bride who travels, presumably, to meet a husband. Helen Huang, author of The Kiss Quotient, which I have heard rave reviews about. Um, so I'm very excited about this one. Um, let's see. So our main, our male main character's name is Kai. He is on the autistic spectrum. And, um, then his mother, after he refuses to search out a relationship, goes to Vietnam to help him <laughs> fall in love. Um, and then from the sound of it, um, it sounds like perhaps someone comes back with mom. Let me just read the rest of this. So yes, she is living in Ho Chi Minh City. Our female love interest is Esme Tran. And she has the opportunity to go to America, but seems to have some trouble seducing Kai. And Esme has a limited amount of time in the U.S., so we're on a timetable, people. This sounds really great. I am very excited about this. Um, I'm guessing maybe we have an author of Vietnamese descent, perhaps. Um, let's see. Currently living in San Diego. So I'm not seeing anything here on her heritage, but I do see that she too is on the autistic spectrum. So this is bound to have some great representation in it, right? Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So here we have the aforementioned bonus shiny package, which I really, I really do just absolutely adore this envelope. Um, it's funny because my husband, whenever he sees that I have it, he's like, oh, look, you have more book mail from Hannah. <laughs> we always know when it's hers, even without looking at the return address. And, oh, please tell me that this is mine. It is. Oh, yes. It is my manga haul. Yay. Children of the whales. Two, three, and four. I'm so excited. Oh, yes. I read the first one of these and was so intrigued. Um, and I, I've read, uh, or rather I've watched the first few episodes of the show. I think it's on Netflix. And uh, was also intrigued, but decided I wanted to read the mangas first. And I've been anxious to get back to it. So yay! Yay, this is very exciting. This is very exciting to me. This is great. Yay. Okay, so Waypoint Book Haul. Y'all, I love this. I love it. Hold on. Oh, it's going to be hard because the mangas are, are very, um, are sort of, well, you know, they're mangas. They're not backwards. They're the right way for mangas, but I have to situate them differently for the thing. Yes. Look at, look at the book haul. Yes, this one, this one here. This is high priority. This is high priority. I need to do, I need to read that. Romance now is really not something I've ever run into. Um, <laughs> well, that's not true. The Christine Feehan things really, I, after I set that aside, it did leave a bad taste in my mouth for a while because it literally was just the same thing over and over again. But if Helen Huang has, whose name I hope I'm pronouncing right. And if I'm not, please correct me in the comments and I will try my best to remember to Google it. Um, after I'm finished filming, but if she is anything close to Talia Hibbert, then I'm so, I'm pumped. You can tell, you can tell I'm pumped. While I'm at it, um, this is a very small portion 
of the books <laughs> that I've gotten from Waypoint. Um, but just to give you an idea of the sorts of things that she keeps in mind for me, she knows that I'm huge on fantasy. Um, the Witcher was one of hers that she recommended for me. I think I chose Mask of Mirrors. And maybe I chose Hall of Smoke as well. I'm not sure. And then this one, I think I just ordered directly from her. I don't think this one came from a box. But yeah, so her catalog is great. And um, I will leave a link to her bookshop down in the description box below. You should go check it out. I am by no means uh, someone um, from money. Um, and her shipping rates are extremely reasonable, um, especially considering that I'm all the way in the U.S. So it's, uh, you know, intercontinental and all these things. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more of these unboxings and surprise book mails from me. If you will, if you subscribe and ring the bell, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. And thank you again so much for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.